Bloomberg recently said something that is making waves in the business world. They think that the value of XRP will go through the roof and could even go over $60,000. A Bloomberg expert made this bold claim. They said that XRP is like Bitcoin for banks. These rumors have been backed up by Bloomberg's business news experts. This isn't just a guess then. This is based on information from a reliable source. More and more people are talking about how XRP's value could skyrocket to an amazing $60,000. This happens right after Ripple said in public that they want XRP to become the cryptocurrency of choice for banks, similar to what Bitcoin is for the rest of the market. There's more to these than just rumors or casual statements. In real time on TV, Ripple's new relationship with the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, ISDA, is also a big deal. The trades they want to make on the XRP ledger will be worth an amazing $1.2 quadrillion. To handle such large amounts, this could mean that the starting price of XRP needs to be around $10,000. In today's video, we'll go into all of these events in more depth. Hello, Coins Alert family. We're your go-to place for all things XRP. Before we go any further, please hit the like button, subscribe, and notifications to join our group. Also, once we reach 60,000 followers, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. There are only three easy steps you need to take to put in your bid. Make sure you do all of those things. Write money side in the comments to make sure you get a spot. Today's movie is all about the fuss that Bloomberg made when they said that XRP could reach an amazing $60,000 in a very short amount of time. First, we're going to talk about the revolutionary idea that Ripple is making big relationships in the financial and institutional worlds. In the beginning of this film, we talked about the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, the big plan that ISDA and Ripple have to handle more than $1.2 quadrillion. However, that's only the tip of the iceberg. We've mostly been looking at what's happening in Europe and North America although Ripple has an impact on many more places than just these eight. Let's not forget about countries like Africa, where Ripple is making big steps forward. Ripple wants to change the way cross-border payments are made in Africa by working with OnFrick. This project isn't just for Africa, it will make deals easier in a number of other important areas as well. Imagine being able to easily send money between countries in Africa, the UK, Australia, and the Gulf Cooperation Council. All of this could be done with Ripple's platform. This level of global financial integration has never been seen before. And in today's action-packed movie, we'll talk about all of these exciting changes. Let's learn more about this interesting subject. Bloomberg, a big source of financial news, has talked a lot about how Bitcoin, and more specifically, XRP could do better than Bitcoin. This is not a new story. It's a common theme, especially when they talk about how much XRP costs at $60,000. Some people might think this is new information, but it's not. We've seen this kind of guessing before. Forbes. Another major source of financial news once published an article with the title The New Bitcoin is XRP, and it's headed to $59,472. This is a striking example. It's interesting that this story was taken down minutes after it was published. This is not just a rumor, it has been confirmed by several AI systems such as Chat, GPT, and others. The alignment in these stories is especially interesting. Both the Bloomberg analysis and the now defunct Forbes piece show that XRP is heading in the same direction which means it could not only compete with Bitcoin, but also possibly beat it. This is important, especially since Bitcoin's all-time high was around $60,000. When these well-known financial sources agree on something, it makes the debate about XRP's future value more interesting. It's important to look into the reasons behind these big statements. Why do well-known financial publications like Bloomberg and Forbes, though only quickly in the case of Forbes, predict such a huge rise for XRP? This is more than just a guess. It shows that people are becoming more sure about the digital currency market and XRP's possible role in it. The important thing is to know where XRP fits in the world of digital currencies. Bitcoin is often thought of as a digital gold, a way to keep value. XRP, on the other hand, is making a name for itself as a way to make international transactions easier. Its relationships and technological advances are meant to speed up, lower the cost, and improve the efficiency of international trade. This is especially important in the world we live in now where trade and banking between countries are very important. Also, XRP's technology foundation, which is based on Ripple's blockchain technology, is built for speed and scale, which fixes some of Bitcoin's problems. Because of this, XRP is a good choice, not only for individual investors, but also for banks that want to make their business more efficient. So when people say that XRP will hit or go over $60,000, they're not just making assumptions. The value and effect that XRP might have on the world's financial system are shown by this, it means seeing XRP as more than just another coin. It means seeing it as a tool that can change the way money is handled. As we keep seeing the development, the player to watch. When you combine the lessons from Bloomberg and Forbes with Ripple's technological progress and strategic partnerships, you get a picture of a bright future for XRP. 
It's important to stress the pattern we're seeing in financial news, especially in the case of the Forbes story about XRP that was banned after AI checked it. This story was published for a short time, but was quickly taken down. This is not a one-time thing. There's a pattern where financial news sites with close ties to industry leaders write groundbreaking pieces about cryptocurrencies like XRP, but then quickly take them down. It makes you wonder why these quick deletions happen and why there is silence afterward. This trend isn't just happening at Forbes. The advisor to Bloomberg's comment about XRP is similar to what we saw before. Even though this information has been shared and checked, it seems like there is a coordinated attempt to play it down or even shut it down. Reports and papers that talk about XRP are being hidden from the public, which is part of a pattern of suppression and secrecy. It's hard not to wonder what's going on behind the scenes. What's the deal with not wanting these XRP talks to stay in the public eye? The fact that BlackRock filed for the Assure XRP Trust ETF is a great example of this. It wasn't given the attention it earned, but this was a big move. It should be big news that such a big banking institution is taking steps to accept XRP, but this pattern of removal and silence is making it less important. This habit of deleting and keeping quiet makes things more confusing than it clarifies. What do these acts mean for the world? Why is there such a push to keep people from learning about these big changes in the world of cryptocurrencies, especially with XRP? As more and more reports indicate that BlackRock is involved with XRP, these reports are suddenly thrown out as false, which is a very interesting turn of events. There was clear proof from reliable sources, like the news website for the Delaware state government, that an XRP ETF trust company was filed by BlackRock. The proof was there for everyone to see, but soon after these confirmations were taken back. I think about this. In the first tweet, Bloomberg analyst Eric Blinch confirmed that BlackRock's decision to create the iShares XRP trust was legal. This was a big admission, but in a strange turn of events, he later took it back and said it was wrong. These inconsistencies are not just a bunch of random events. There seems to be a deliberate effort to play down BlackRock's interest in XRP so that it looks like big banks like JP Morgan and BlackRock are not really invested in this cryptocurrency. The truth, on the other hand, seems to be very different. Finding a story from October 17th, 2023, that says BlackRock and JP Morgan have been quietly buying XRP with 7.5% of their total wealth gives us a lot of information. This is a big surprise that goes against the story that is being spread in the public eye. Hey guys, see you tomorrow. Do not forget that I am not a professional financial advisor. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the follow button if you liked it. Also, make sure the alerts are on so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful. Uh